Hi, are you a nurse or thinking of entering the profession? Many people choose this career because of their passion for helping others. That is always admirable. But there is no shame in getting in because of the financial gains, right? Hello and welcome back to Medical Forum. Today, we will list the top 10 highest paid nursing profession. Number 10. Nurse Researchers Nurse researchers' base salary is 81000 a year and can reach up to 140000 a year. Nurse researchers work in hospitals, medical clinics, and research laboratories to conduct research at a nursing level. Becoming a nurse researcher takes excellent data collection and analytics skills, statistics, analyzing and interpreting research, and good nursing skills. In addition, nurse researchers must be observant, as part of their job is detecting possible side effects and good communicators with patients and academics. Number 9. Travel Nurses On average, travel nurses make 75000 to 100000 annually. Travel nurses can work in any field. Either they were working in emergency, critical care, med surge, renal, etc. They fill the staffing gap of various hospitals or facilities for some time. This type of nursing is advantageous for those who love to travel, since most contracts will subsidize you for almost everything. Transportation, housing, sometimes including food outside of their basic pay. As easy as this sounds, travel nurses need to quickly adapt as they are expected to perform with little orientation. But after many contracts, travel nurses can swing any contract right off the bat, earning an average salary of 75000 to 100000 annually. Number 8. Gerontology Nurse Practitioner Gerontology nurse practitioners earn an average of 100000 per year. They're similar to family nurse practitioners, with the main difference being that they work with the older population. If you are the type of nurse who takes fulfillment in taking care of the older population and thinking of specializing in this area, this pathway is right for you. The majority of gerontology nurse practitioners work in outpatient settings. Number 7. Neonatal Nurse Practitioners The average salary of a neonatal nurse practitioner is more than 110000 a year, looking after premature and critically ill babies after they are born. Neonatal nurse practitioners oversee these neonatal nurses, they may collaborate with the specialized physicians called neonatal intensivists or work independently, diagnosing and evaluating patients, designing treatment plans, and prescribing medications. In addition, NNPs typically start and maintain central and intravenous lines, monitor specialized equipment like ventilators and incubators, and order and perform diagnostic tests. Number 6. Nurse Midwives Nurse midwives make a median salary of around 111000 a year. They are responsible for assisting a woman throughout the pregnancy up to delivery. They foresee the health of the mother and baby as well. For nurses who love labor and delivery, this is a great option. Nurse midwives sometimes do at-home births, while others also work in hospitals. They have the autonomy to work on their own at birthing centers. This type of nursing has a lot of opportunities. We are halfway through the video, but please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you find this video of value. Number 5. Pediatric Nurse Practitioners Pediatric nurse practitioners make about 111000 a year, the same as nurse midwives. There are two roadmaps for those wanting to take on this career. First, they can either work in outpatients or inpatients, and their pay will be of little difference. Surprisingly, inpatient pediatric nurse practitioners paid a little less because they have access to doctors in the hospitals. In contrast, outpatient pediatric nurse practitioners are more often alone. Number 4. Mental Health Nurse Practitioners Mental health nurse practitioners earn an average yearly salary of $120,000. They provide extensive mental health care to patients suffering from behavioral problems and mental health disorders including, but not limited to, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, and many more. They see all these kinds of patients. So, these nurse practitioners choose to work in the outpatients, offices, or inside a mental facility. Mental health nurse practitioners can also attend to patients who need psych consultations. To put it simply, they look after patients needing cognitive solutions. Number 3. Family Nurse Practitioner On average, family nurse practitioners receive an annual income of $116,000. They have highly specialized registered nurses who give primary or specialty care to patients of all ages. These advanced practice registered nurses, or APRNs, usually function under a doctor but with a high degree of autonomy. Although in some cases, family nurse practitioners practice on their own. This type of nursing is for the generalist nurses. Number 2. Nursing Professors A nursing professor's median salary is $99,000 but can be as high as $145,000 annually. Not many talks about this type of prestigious career. 
This takes you out of the bedside, allowing one to mold aspiring nurses. Although sometimes, you have to go with students for their clinical. You don't have to do it all the time, though. If you're a person who loves teaching, mentoring, or tutoring, this nursing line is probably suited for you. Number 1. CRNA An entry-level CRNA with 1-3 to three years of experience earns an average salary of $133,136. Those with more than 8 years of experience make on average $243,523 a year. A nurse anesthetist represents one of the most advanced and qualified specialties in nursing. They are trained and certified to administer anesthesia for patients during surgery, labor and delivery, emergency, or pain management. Many people are surprised and unaware that nurse anesthetists provide the same service level as the anesthesiologist. To become a CRNA, you will need a minimum of one year of experience in critical nursing since you will be prepping patients for surgery, including intubating them. Therefore, it takes 7 to 8.5 years of experience in education to become a CRNA. That is almost equivalent to taking up medicine. Regardless of where you are in your academic and professional life, there's a clear path to follow that can lead to a satisfying career as a nurse anesthetist, the nursing career that pays the most. It is no secret that nursing is a stressful profession. So our take is, might as well get paid for it. Thank you for watching Medical Forum. See you next time.